SIM Toolkit. Disabling versus uninstalling. Hello, tech enthusiasts. Today, we are diving into a frequently asked question. Can I disable SIM Toolkit instead of uninstalling it? We'll delve into what SIM Toolkit is, the implications of disabling or uninstalling it, and finally, how to disable it on your Android phone. Remember, the information you need is always just one video away. What is SIM Toolkit? SIM Toolkit, or STK, is a standard of the GSM system which enables the SIM to initiate actions that can be used for various value-added services. It's typically pre-installed on mobile devices by network carriers. While it's a helpful feature for some, many users find it unnecessary and sometimes intrusive. Disabling or uninstalling it might be a solution, but let's explore what each means. Disabling versus uninstalling To disable an app is to essentially freeze it on your device. It won't be able to run or consume resources, and you won't see it in your app drawer. But it will remain on your device, taking up some storage space. On the other hand, uninstalling an app completely removes it from your device, freeing up storage space. But in the case of system apps like the SIM Toolkit, uninstalling often requires root access, which isn't ideal for most users due to the potential risks involved. For most users, disabling SIM Toolkit is a safer and simpler alternative to uninstalling. How to disable SIM Toolkit Now, let's guide you through how to disable the SIM Toolkit on your Android device. 1. Open your device's settings. 2. Scroll down and tap on Apps and Notifications. 3. Tap on See All Apps or App Info, based on your Android version. 4. Scroll down and find SIM Toolkit. 5. Tap on SIM Toolkit, and then tap on the Disable button. Remember, if you ever need to enable it again, you can repeat the steps and hit Enable instead of Disable. So, there you have it. Yes, you can disable the SIM Toolkit on your Android device instead of uninstalling it. It's a straightforward process that doesn't pose the risks associated with rooting. We hope this video has been helpful. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tricks.